Hi everyone, I'm Roshni here. Plant safety is indeed important to protect everyone's life. Today, I'm going to share about Industry Code of Practice on Indoor Air Quality 2010. This code of practice was approved by Dato Amar Daulas Ukwa Embers on 30th August 2010. It was done to replace the code of practice on indoor air quality launched by Minister on July 2005. This industry code of practice served several purposes which include provide guidance to improve indoor air quality IAQ, provide guidance to set minimum standard for selected parameters to avoid discomfort adverse health effect and also provide safe workplace to employees. Now, let us talk about the application of this code of practice. Fidaos, can you share more info about this? Sure, Roshini. Well, this industry code of practice applies to all within parts or totally enclosed areas served by a mechanical ventilating and air conditioning, which is MVAC system, including air cool split unit where there are persons at work, except domestic buildings, buildings but constructed, used or intended for domestic or industrial purpose. Also, building parts containing hazardous chemicals for analytical, research or preservation purpose, as well as removal and disposal of asbestos containing materials. Sorry Roshini, I have a group discussion in a while. See you later Roshini. See you. Hi Kaichi. Actually, is there anything else important to know from this industry code of practice? Hmm, how about I share the info on control of indoor air quality? There are 8 subtopics for this info. First, microbial contamination, where inspection is done to remove water and make repairs to prevent microbial growth. Second, the prescribed activities control, in which adequate work procedures are practiced. Pest control, the pesticide usage should be minimized and pesticide spraying must be done by licensed operator. Housekeeping and cleaning, where daily cleaning is done according to schedule. MVAC inspection and maintenance. Exposure control. The environment parameters should be maintained in range. Environmental tobacco smoke, ETS. All indoors and some public area smoking are prohibited. And also, renovation work control. Thank you for your sharing, Kaichi. That's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a brief idea on industry code of practice on indoor air quality 2010. Bye! Bye.